Hi everybody, this is Christine again with the DIY Family Channel and today I'm going to show you how to paint, decorate, and completely finish a paper mache letter that you can pick up at any of your local craft stores. They're very lightweight and as you can see on the back it started out with just a regular paper mache letters. Um, I did a layer of just acrylic paint to seal the sides and the top and I'm going to show you how we went ahead and we did the other steps to this project um, today. So first of all, um, what you're going to need is something to cover your surface. I'm just using a brown paper bag. Um, I'm going to be using Mod Podge um, to put the material down. You're going to need your letters, maybe some of the pearls and little doodads that you want to use to decorate, <coughs> excuse me, to decorate the, um, the different letters with. And we've used two different kinds of material that you're going to see for um, our granddaughter Addison's room. Um, I, what I did is after I did the coat of acrylic paint, I laid these down upside down on the material and I cut out each of the individual letters. I also then measured um, a half an inch or an inch down on the letter and I centered and I glued these little bows that I just tied by hand and I hot glued them onto the back so that they can be hung up in her room just like this once they're completed. So to apply your Mod Podge, you're just going to need a regular old foam brush, <clears throat> excuse me, and your material that you have cut out. You just want to apply a light coat and you need to kind of do this quickly. And not so messy is that. Across the letter. You don't want to get this too wet because again it, it is a paper mache form. So um, that's another reason I put the acrylic paint on underneath to kind of give it a seal. I wanted to try and seal in any of the other moistures that I was putting on top because I did a number of coats of the Mod Podge on top um, after applying the fabric. So go ahead and get the fabric put into place, kind of smooth it out. You want to make sure that you get it all in the right position because after it's on there, you're not going to be able to really do much about it. Um, make sure that there's nothing of the underneath really showing. And then after this dries, you would typically let it dry for at least maybe a half hour to an hour. And then on the second coat, I'm just going to take a chance and show you on part of this. What I did was I went over the material. And you want a light coat to push this down into the, the Mod Podge underneath. And then wherever you get any le um, little bubbles, what I do is just take a little bit of the Mod Podge on my finger and just kind of wiggle those little bubbles out and smooth it down. But be sure not to use a dry finger because you'll pick up the material and take the whole thing off with you. So after you've done that, you're at this spot after it's dried. And you're going to go ahead and do another good coat just to get everything sealed really well make sure you get all your edges and at this point you shouldn't um, have any more air bubbles those should all be sealed and pressed out at this point point. and if they're in there now they're in there there's you're just gonna need to decorate around them forget about them or just let them be part of the character of the handmade piece that you're making you just want to make sure that you get all those edges this stuff is a lot of fun to work with, the Mod Podge. You can do just about anything with this. Okay, so then we're going to let that dry probably a good hour, or at least or not, if not overnight. And here we have the last stage. You can see that it has a few little air bubbles in there, but I'm just not going to sweat it. As I showed you in a previous video how to make the little metal doodads, um, I have those here, and I'm just going to go ahead and maybe plan on where I want to put them. This is a flower off of one of Kaylin's, which is my daughter's dress who just had the baby. And it's off of an old dress of hers from when she was a baby, so I thought it would be nice to put in a project of her daughter's. Now, the baby's a week old today, so I think we're going to maybe add that in. 
kind of like this. So we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue underneath where we have that. Don't forget it's hot. I burnt myself on the last one. Just kind of drop that in there. Remember, it's metal wire and it's malleable, it's bendable. You can pick it up, move it, play a little, you know, movement, whatever you need to do with it in there. Get it to however you want it to look. Just hot glue, hot glue. I don't know what we did before we had cell phones and hot glue guns. And there you go. Easy paper mache letters that you can decorate, you can paint, you can add fabric, even your favorite scrapbook papers you can add to. You can do this for different holidays and add little um, holiday phrases at the bottom of a collection of letters. Um, but have fun with it, and I would love to see what you come up with yourselves. Um, from Christine on the DIY channel to you, we hope we see you soon. Our next project is going to be nursing bracelets and a quilt for baby. So until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you from the DIY family.